simply defend your two goal leads or will you be really attacking and be on the front foot tomorrow? I think I always give the same message to my, uh, to my group. Uh, we want to play football, we want to play forward, we don't have a team to, to defend, so of course there will be a big pressure. From, uh, from the Rangers, from uh, everybody. But I think um, when we have the ball, we need to play football because uh, if we don't do this, it will be very hard. So resting on your laurels, that's not something that's in your vocabulary? For nobody, I think, in football, no. This is going to be a new experience for you and your players. How do you think they'll cope with that tomorrow night? Please? It's going to be a new experience playing in Europe. You know, how, how do you think they'll cope tomorrow night? It's a, it's a new experience uh, for everybody in this team, but uh, new experience don't mean that uh, it, will be, it will be strange. It will be something to discover. And when you can discover things, uh, it's always magic. So uh, if you have the good uh, mental strength, the good uh, physical ability, if you are ready to play this game in your, in your mind, I think uh, tomorrow is a big moment to, to take pleasure also on the field in this uh, Magical, uh, legendary stadium with this public. I think we need to take uh, profit and take uh, positive energy out of that instead of, uh, I would say this in English, uh, choking. Oh no, it's not uh, the idea. No. Can, can I ask the, the coach and, and, the, and the player? One of the Rangers players said today that he thought that you celebrated after the first leg as if the tie was already over. You know, your reaction to that? Oh, I think after the, the win, we were happy. When my players win on training, on a game, uh, I don't care on which stage. We are happy that we that we win. And this is this is our culture, and 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 it's not nothing to see with disrespect for the opponent. Not at all. We are happy for us, for the teammates, for the efforts we made. We celebrate together, but uh, the respect we have for the Rangers uh, is very very big. I can tell you this. That's just Belgian culture. My first game for Unio. We celebrated in the second division uh, against Danza when we won 2 0, like we'd won the league already. So it was a shock for me, but that's just a Belgian football culture, everyone knows. Could we ask as well, John Lundstrom was speaking today. He also said um, that maybe you didn't know what you were getting yourself into in terms of the environment that you'll face here. What's your reaction to that as a player? Have you spoken about the Ibrox atmosphere? Do you think it'll impact your game at all? Um, I mean, you, you try to play football to, to win things, so obviously we, we knew what we were getting ourselves into. Um, we were excited to, to draw Rangers, um, and you know now we're here, we're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, of course, the, the crowd can have an impact, but it's the same set of squad players against the same same set of squad players, so um, you know we're looking forward to it. And uh, as long as we, we keep disciplined, then, uh, and hopefully, like Coach Ed, play our way of football, um, then it would just be uh, something that, like the coach said, we can take pleasure from uh, and an exciting new experience for some of us. As, as coach, um, how you anticipate Rangers approach to this game being different? They, they may have Brian Kent back, they may have Alfredo Morelos back, they're playing at home. Do you anticipate the way that Rangers approach this game being significantly different to last week? Well, you mentioned some, some big players and I think important players for the Rangers. Uh, I think Kent is one of the, the key players. Uh, last year, uh, with his skills, his speed on the left, he can play left, he can play right. Uh, so it's an important player. So uh, it's good for the Rangers that he is there. Uh, so uh, we will prepare something if he is playing. But uh, once again, we will play with uh, with our qualities, with our strengths. Uh, and we, we, of course, we, we try to give some tactical advice about the Rangers. Because we have, we have a lot of good ideas. I like, I like the way how Giovanni Van Bronckhorst is playing. It's a football team and they play with a lot of movement. They play with offensive uh, fullbacks. Uh, it's a nice team to see and to see playing. So we need to, to adapt left and right some things, but the most important, I'm here to, to, play, for, uh, to play for Union, to coach Union. And I want to, to have good performance tomorrow. You're renowned in, you're renowned in Belgium for being a good counter-attacking team. I think counter attack is a part of the football. I think uh, every coach in the world they want they want that his team can play the counter attack in moments when you can. But when you can play football from behind, I'm sure that we will do. We want to keep the ball. We want to play, but sometimes you are pushed 
into a situation where you can play the transition. This is more than football also, so when you can, of course, we will do. And I'm sure that uh, when the Rangers tomorrow have the moment to play and uh, counter-attack, they will do also, so no more. Last question is here for Christian. Do you, do you feel a real confidence after the, the first leg in the team? No, I wouldn't say we were overconfident. Um, you know, it's, it's nicer to be two up, of course, but uh, we understand that tomorrow, I think they're going to play with a lot of energy. Um, I have something to prove, and then there's a massive carrot at the end of the stick, so uh, we're, we're not any more confident than we are of, of a normal game. Um, we believe in ourselves as a group, and hopefully we go out there and, and show the best of ourselves. Can, can we say that the defeat against Malin can, seem, can, can be seen like uh, in a positive way, like it's a good lesson for, for, for the team? I, I don't think it's, um, it means anything for, for the game tonight. Um, it's a completely different competition and, and we have a different mindset that, that's in the past.